Okay, hello and welcome. If you're watching this video, then that means that you're up to the point where you're signed up, logged into BandLab, and you can see that you've been added to your class. So I'm just going to use this class as an example to show you how to create your loop project in BandLab. So I'm going to click on my class and you can see that there's an assignment there, composition using loops. And it asks if I can want to start the assignment. So I'm going to click start assignment and teacher's assignment. Okay, then it's going to load the audio. Because we are looking at loops, I want you to look at this bottom right hand corner where it says browse loops and click that. That will come up with all of the different loop packs that you can use. These are featured packs and then if you want more packs you can click here. And you can see that there's lots and lots to choose from for, from a variety of different genres. So I want to make a lo-fi beat using loops today. So I'm going to look for lo-fi. Um, let's try lo-fi hip-hop volume three. Okay, and I'm going to start with the drum beat. So I'll listen to these drums. Perhaps not really what I'm looking for. Try this one. Okay, I like that one. I'm going to go with that one. So I'm going to drag that one into my project. I can see that it's dragged starting at bar four there. I'm going to take it back to bar one. So it starts on bar one. Have a little listen to that. Okay, that's a lot faster than when I listen to it over here. As you can see here, it tells you what tempo it was recorded at. Now you can record it, you can play it back at any tempo here. You can see that it's played back at 120 BPM. What I'm going to do is have it so it matches the recording tempo. So I'm going to take that to 85 BPM. And we want to adjust the audio to match the tempo. And now I'll have another listen, see if that's worked. Okay, and it did, so that's good. I'm gonna drag that out now because I want that to last a while. I'm gonna drag it out to, I'll do 12 bars for now. So to the start of bar 13. And now I want to add another loop, something else. I'll add some guitar, but I want to try a different pack now. I'm going to keep it with a uh, lo-fi though, because I want a lo-fi beat and I want them all to match. You can mix and match the different ones, but for the sake of doing this, I'm just going to stick with the lo-fi uh, and go with this uh, midnight lo-fi. And then, like I said, I'm going to find a guitar, scroll down to the guitars. In fact, I'm going to loop this. Loop those first first four bars. See how it sounds with the drums. I quite like that one. I quite like that. I'll drag that one in. Lo-fi guitar five. 
make sure that you're dragging into a new track and that you're not going over the ones that you've already got. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one and I'll take this one to bar eight and just have a listen to how that sounds together. Turn the looping off. Okay, I can hear that sounds a little bit out of time there. So just make sure that it's all lined up. Uh, so it was shifted a little bit, as, like as you can see, it was shifted a little bit off. And so that made it out of time with the drum beat. So now I've shifted it in time. Okay, I feel like it needs a bit more there, so I'm going to take it up to bar, the end of bar 10. And in fact, I want to take it just before the end of bar 10. Let's see if we can make this work. And then take this back to just before bar 10. Um, and then I'll bring back in that, that beat. If you hold Alt while you drag it, then that copies it further on in the track. Make sure that's lined up at the start of bar 10. And then I want something a little bit different for the second part. So I've got that first section, sounds pretty good. I want to bring in a second section now. I'll look for keys just to make it a bit different. Some keyboard. I feel like that would work quite well. Yeah, I'm going to use that one. Drag it in new track. Start at that start at that bar ten. Make it so it goes on for four bars. Okay, let's see if that all goes together. I'll start from the beginning. Okay, so I've got one too many bars here. I'm going to take that back. And also, I need an extra bar here, I think, cut off too early. So I'll drag this so it starts on bar 11 instead. Okay, and you can see that it's a trial and error. So I'm listening to it, seeing if it works. Where it doesn't work, I'm changing it to make it work. This need, now needs to be a bit longer. I still like, I liked that stop, so I'm gonna keep the stop in there. Let's see what it sounds like if we have two bars with just the drums on its own, and then the guitar comes in, and then we have that stop, and then it goes to that second section.
that sounded good, I like that. Let's make this a bit longer, twice as long. I feel like that's a strong start to this song. Now I want, I want to create a little bit more in that chorus, a little bit more rhythmically with percussion, maybe with a shaker. So I'll clean this up a bit, make sure it's all lined up. And then I want to add a, add a shaker just to create a bit more variation in that second section. So to do that, I'll go on loops, click on instruments. In fact, I'll just do a search. For the purposes of this, I'll use uh, this shaker. I'll drag this in. I think that sounds all right. And now let's see how it fits with everything else. Yeah, I like that. It's quite subtle, but it just adds that little bit extra in in the chorus. This is quite minimalist. I feel like at various sections, like at the start of this bar seven here, I think I'd add something else, maybe add a bass. And then same for the chorus, add some add something else halfway through. But this is this is just a start of what I'm expecting and just a little bit of a flavour of how it all works. Uh, so I'm sure you'll do great. I'm really, really looking forward to listening to yours. Just make sure that when you're ready to submit it, when you've uh, completed it, you click submit and then that will send it to me. If you're not finished but you need to go to your next lesson, do something else, just make sure you click save so you don't lose your work. But that's just a little bit of a flavour of what BandLab is like and specifically making a composition using loops on BandLab. Later on we might introduce using some other things but for now if we stick with loops and looking at the structure, looking at repetition but how you can change the flavour by adding different things to it and looking at making these different sections. So enjoy and I look forward to listening to yours.